Hello students, once again welcome back to class 6. So today we are going to start exercise 3.5. Question number 1, which of the following statements are true? A. If a number is divisible by 3, it must be divisible by 9. Suppose that number is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, 3 to the 6. And that number is divisible by 9, it means 6 divided by 9, no it is not possible. You will get the number in a rational form, p upon q form or decimal form. So, it is a false, 6 is divisible by, by, by 3 but not divisible by 9. Next, b1, if a number is divisible by 9, it must be divisible by 3, yes, 9. Factors of 9 is 3, 3 is a 9. So, any number is divisible by 9, then it will also be divisible by 3. You can see here, if any number is divisible by 9, then also it will be divisible by 3. See the example 9, 9 divided by 9, 1. Then 9 divided by 3, 3, 3 is a 9. So, it is a true. See, a number is divisible by 18. If it is divisible by both 3 and 6. False. That answer is false. Since 30 is divisible by both 3 and 6 but not divisible by 18. 18, here what is the question? Any number is there? 30. That you can divide with 3 also. 3 tens are and 30 divided by 6. Then 6 fives are. Yes. Then 30 is divisible by both 3 and 6. But here it is 30 that is not divisible by 3, 6 are 18. The, hence it is a false. D. If a number is divisible by 9 and 10 both, then it must be divisible by 19. It is a true because 9 tens are 90. Hence if number is divisible by 9 and 10 both, then it, it is divisible by 19. Next, E. If two numbers are co-primes, at least one of them must be prime. Let us see the answer. It is a false. Why? Because 15 and 32 are co-primes and also composite numbers. What is the question? The both the numbers are co-primes then at least one of them must be prime. So, it is not compulsory. What is the meaning of co-primes? Their common factor is 1. You can see here 15 and 32. Factors of 15 and factors of 32. You think about that. You will not get any factor common other than 1. So, both are co-prime numbers but both are composite numbers. Both are not a prime numbers. Okay. So, hence it is a false. If you will take a 17 and 3, yes, then both are co-prime numbers and both are prime numbers also. If, if you will take 5, 3 and 5, then also both are co-prime and prime numbers. Then take example 5 and 6, then factors of 5 and factors of 6, you will get one only common, number 1. So, 1 is co-prime, uh, one is prime number and another one is composite numbers. Next, F. All numbers which are divisible by 4 must also be divisible by 8. It is false because 12 is divisible by 4 but not divisible by 8. Any number you will divide with 4 and divide with 8. Both the numbers are divisible by 8 and 4. It is true or not that you have to find out. If here 4 is there, if here 8 is there, then it is correct. If number other than 8, for example 12, then 4, 3 is a 12, but in the table of 8, 12 not comes. So, it is a false. Next, G, all numbers which are divisible by 8 must also be divisible by 4. 
any number because factors of 8 it is 2 and 4 2 4 is a 8 so it is obviously true if a number is divisible by 8 then it will also be divisible by 2 and 4 h if number exactly divides two numbers separately it must exactly divide their sum it is true why 2 divides 4 and 8 and also divides 12 what is the question if number exactly divides two numbers separately that number other two numbers 4 and 8 this 2 divides 4 also and 8 also okay then it must exactly divide that sum what is the sum of 4 and 8 4 plus 8 12 yes 2 also divides 12 also that's why it is a true if next i if a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers, it must exactly divide the two numbers. Let's take this 12 only. 12. It is the sum of any two numbers. Which two numbers? That we don't know. But it can be 11 plus 1. Then 10 plus 2. Yes. Okay. So, this 12 is the sum of two numbers. And this 2 divides the 12. Yes, that is a true. But uh, this, for, e for example, this 12 is the sum of 7 and 5. Then 7 does not divide this 7 and 5. Okay. 2 does not divide this 7 and 5. So, it is a false. Question number 2. Here are two different factors. 3. Factor 3 is for 60. Write the missing numbers. Next. You can see here it is a 3 and here it is a missing numbers you have to fill them fill them 60 that is a multiplication of 10 6 a 60 you can check 10 into 6 it is a 60 then 6 it is a multiplication of 2 and 3 so here it will come 3 10 that is a multiplication of 5 and 2 so you can check the answers Next, second one, 60. So, here 30 is given. So, here it will come 2. Then 30. That is a factor. I mean, factors of 30. 10, 3 is a 30. 10. Then 2, 5 is a 10. Your answers are given. You can check. Question number 3. Which factors are not included in the prime factorization of composite number? Composite numbers whose factors are possible. Okay. So, and prime factorization method that uh, you know LCM method if 12 is given then find out the factors of 12 then this is a one kind of LCM type method 2 6 are 12 then 2 3 are 6 3 1 are 3. So, factors of 12 2 into 2 into 3 multiply 2 2 are 4 4 3 are 12. So, you got 12. This is the prime factorization method. So, you can see that 1 and number itself. In that factors 1 and 12 not included. So, which factors are not included? 1 and number itself. Write the greatest 4 digit number and express it in the terms of its a prime factors. 4 digit number and that should be greatest. It is a 9990. 1 and you have to express that number in the terms of prime factors then you can make uh, like the tree factors tree okay so 9999 so one of the factor is 9 into 1111 then factor of this 1111 is 11 into 101 and 9 factors of 9 3 3 is a 9 write the smallest 5 digit number and express it in the form of its prime factors smallest 5 digit number is 10000 and their factors you have to write so any you can choose here 10000 you will divide by 4 then you will get 2500 here you can write 10000 that you can write 
that uh, 10,000 divide by 2. So, you will get 5,000. So, here you can write 5 into 5, 2 into 5,000 that is also possible. So, 10,000 is a multiplication of 4 and 2,500. 4 that is a multiplication of 2 and 2. 2,500 that is a multiplication of 25 into 100. 25 that is a multiplication of 5 and 5. 100 you can write here 20 into 5. 20, 4, 5 are 20 and 4, 2, 2 are 4. So, this you have to write 2 into 2, last factors you have to write 2 into 2, then this 2 into 2, this 5 into 5, that also you can write. Next question number 6. Find all the prime factors of 1729 and arrange, arrange them in ascending order. Now state the relation if any between two consecutive prime factors. First of all find out the prime factors. 1729. Here is a number. How to find the prime factors using prime factorization method? First, divide this number by 2. It is possible? No, because unit place is 9. So, it is not possible. Divide it by, by 3. Then also you will not get answer. 4, it is not possible. 5, also not possible. 6, not possible because this number is not divisible by 2 and 3. Then 6 also not possible. 7, yes. It is possible you divide this 1729 by 7 you will get 247 247 you can divide 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so you will get here answer 13 13 nines are 247 and 19 ones are 19 so what are the factors 1729 1729 factors are 7 into 13 into 19 what is a Relation between this consecutive prime factors 13 minus 7, 13 minus 7, 6, 19 minus 13, answer is 6. So, we can say the difference between two consecutive prime factors is 6. Okay. So, up to the question number 6. In the next video, we will see remaining questions.